All right, this is the third video. I'll try, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. The first one, the battery died. The second one, I was just like, what in the world are you talking about? Okay, um, I've been spending a fair amount of time on this. Um, oh my God, I can't wait. Next week, I've got, uh, I don't go back. Well, tomorrow's my last day of work until November 4th. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah, the, I don't, you know, I looked, picked up, I've just been in a design crafty mode mo monstrously and uh, that itch has not been scratched properly. So I'm just continue, I'm um, just doing it. Um, I won't stop until it, you know, it's satiated essentially. Um, yeah, I picked up the, uh, the member of the portable war game book by uh, Bob Cordery and then uh, saw that thing about a uh, grid of offset squares and I was like oh my gosh and people were telling me about the Great War at Sea and then out of the blue Andrew Chung shows up um, back doing videos. <laughs> I was like this is crazy. I love these connections. Anyway so um, so I you know I decided to I was like okay let's pretend you're a game designer or whatever and make a you know a template and see if I can reskin battles later on. I'm not saying these this is the turn track and reinforcement schedules. I was just trying to use an eight and a half by eleven. Remember to be affordable. And you know I, I keep hearing from friends like Mandarin Mike Charles Latora. I'm probably going to be there someday anyways. But my vision is there for sure, and they keep going like my big fat fingers. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to use some big cubes. Trust me, we're going to get to 3D land because I think that's essential. I've, I've been touching on that in my mind for ages. It solves so many issues, man. Like it's like Alberto markers are incorporated into three dimensions. It's fantastic. Oh my God. It just solves stacking issues. So many other things. Like I can just like, think about this. You can reduce your step six ways if you want. You don't have to. But you can. It's like there's so many things I can now do with 3D. I can like, you know what I mean? Like I can have just two step losses or four. It doesn't matter. There's so many things. I can, I can also do that with the turn track and victory points and a zillion other things. There's so many things I can do with 3D incorporating onto a 2D map. It's, mm, I'm very excited. Very, very excited. The problem is I'm, I'm, I'm limited with this to eight by eight. And I was like, I don't want to go down that road. I went off into a crazy road. I tried as hard as I could, but it's like, mm, it doesn't work. I think I went to 16 by 16. It's just too fiddly, even with the uh, little cubes. And then I tried to stretch out the thing, but I don't like the rectangles. And it was still a bit too um, fiddly, as in like I couldn't get my fingers in between. So I decided, Screw this, we're gonna to go to uh, see what I can do with um, 10 by 10, use a D10, and use the small uh, cubes. And it's not too bad. Uh, so this is just a pretend um, map I've made. It's actually extremely loosely, abstractedly, or whatever you wanna call it, Lee, um, based on this map over here. And like I said, I'm doing this game backwards. I was talking to Charles Latour about it, and there was, I can remember, uh, maybe it was about a year ago or something, I can still see the map, bang on. I was doing something near uh, southern uh, Warsaw in my narrative game, and Meandering Mike, I was doing a live, uh, like a live, live uh, playthrough at the time, and uh, Charles Latour and Meandering Mike were there, and Meandering Mike made some just some really insightful comments about like, you know, like, oh, I think I do this or that or the other thing based on those situations. And it was just, anyways, it, it felt like both those people give me liberty to um, explore my gameplay. And I love them for that. So there we go. Um, like, as you can see, I'm just, it's mind bogglingly um, generic at the moment. Like I said, I'm like, I'm going backwards. So, you know, we've got green versus blue, three cities, uh, lakes, um, do not exert uh, an enemy zone of control to adjacent, whatever. If you're going to go across, you can't also cross the lake. Got a river, you have to stop uh, to cross a river. I don't care how many movement points you have, there's not a lot in here because it's only 10 by 10. I'm using the D10. I'm also adjusting the blue and gray CRT and I'm expanding it to a D10 uh, thing. So I'm giving... Um, the options to do things. So for example, the defender at one point can say, well, uh, not all the time, but there's a little 
avenue where, well, I, I can either take a step loss or a retreat. I, I like those little flavors. Um, so I think it's, uh, hold on here. You get one thing for a victory thing. I'm just, do, because remember this is, this is super easy days, or early days here. I'm trying to figure out here. So I think I went one HQ, one artillery, one cavalry. Remember, I haven't put anybody, any numbers on here. And then six, I think, one, two, yep, three, four, and six infantry. And I can play with this like you have no flipping clue. Um, I was thinking already for the rules, um, cavalry, cavalry will be allowed to move three, uh, infantry two, uh, artillery and headquarters one. Uh, if, and like I said, it's still super early. If artillery are adjacent or participating in a, in an attack, um, they get to, uh, you can shift the call, obviously I'm getting into odds based uh, thingamabobs. Oh gosh, this one, I'm just about to hit uh, holiday time for me, or vacation time, 23 days in a row. Um, so I would like to, you know, uh, go off into Wonderland with this type of stuff. I'm going to say this, it's, like I said, I, well, I just need to adjust the printer. I just wanted, to, I'm going canvas, you can, t uh, can tell you that much. Um, yes, I'm delusional. Do I think I'm actually, oh, of course I don't think I'm actually going to be whatever, uh, like publish a game or, you know, so on and so forth. But I could probably make a, like something like Doppeldecker, but like a Hex Encounter type game that's somewhat okay and maybe, you know, make it on canvas and make some blocks and uh, give it away to um, people I love. And I think, like, obviously uh, fellow war gamers, and I think they'll give it a shot. And for example, I would love it, let's say, in some fantasy land. Remember I told you that's where I live, in fantasy land. Um, can you imagine what it would be like if I could actually do something like that? Meandering Mike uh, reviews, and I would want him to rake me over the coals. I can tell you that much. Like, say, you know what? His components suck, and so on and so forth. I would love that, but that's that's what I want to hear. Or, well, I would not. <laughs> I'd rather hear the other stuff, obviously. But, uh, you know, it's like, hey, he did a half decent job. This is just whatever. I'm trying to like incorporate. I'm. I can feel Jev in there, all kinds of things. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to do with cities or anything. <laughs> They're probably going to be obviously objectives, that type of stuff. Oh, um, yeah, I can already see. Oh, just like I was trying to figure out where uh, the initial. Um, uh, I was thinking like you can't go any further beyond your river but what do you do about this dude here then you know what I mean like maybe it just can't go past I can't put if you're the blue people you can't go here I can put somebody here 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 and I guess something like this yeah I'll have to figure this out hmm. but that's I don't know I don't know I'm having fun here man and uh, the next step is, I guess I have to start, um, well, I have to finish off the CRT. It's going pretty good. Uh, it's weird that uh, the CRT is backwards. I'm going to go up a lot of, well, the blue and gray, but I mean, a lot of Great War CRTs have noticed um, the low number is better. I'm going to go with the higher number. I'm going to just do it psychologically or whatever. Like most people, are, you know, think that way. So, uh, like, you know, higher is better or more is more or, you know. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. So I think you know. You know what I mean. See here. I can. So I can have like different strength points, and it looks okay. I can. I've got enough space. I can see the those. Remember, this is just. <laughs> this is like Doppeldecker, my other game. It's just like silly, silly land. But um, yeah, I think this is gonna go well. I'll, I'll give you a little bit more of a. You can see a bit more there. You get the idea. I hope. I'm having fun as hell. I hope you are too. See you later.